Hey y'all, and welcome back to another episode of TZ Teaches. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the smooth and randomized tools. Now, the smooth tool doesn't work quite the same as the loop cut smooth or the subdivide smooth. This smooth is actually trying to flatten the angles of selected vertices so that it actually looks smooth as if it were a hard surface object. So let me show you what I mean here. If I select these by shift clicking, or if I control click to select a ton of them, or the, the fastest path to them all, uh, and then I were to just click and drag with the smooth tool, you'll notice that it's starting to, to kind of deform the model in a way that it's just trying to bring these kind of flatter and say, you know what, this is smooth. Um, and we can take this and say it's negative smoothness or positive smoothness, and it can get a little weird, uh, and maybe that's not what we want. But if you were like, okay, you know what, I really need this, I want this side to be smooth, click and drag, and that's going to flatten out that side as you can see, right? You can also take that in the negative direction, uh, and it will smooth it back. The problem is it's not going to undo if you were to smooth down and then try to smooth it back out. But it's going to try to flatten out those things. Now, in the opposite direction, uh, we also have the randomize tool, which is the opposite of the smooth tool. Now, this randomize will apply a fractalized noise pattern to the selected faces, just like your subdivide and loop cut tools do. Then we also have the ability to kind of change the uniformity of that smoothing, move them along the normals, and then change the smoothing seed pattern just like before. All right, and that is your smooth and randomized tools. I'm Sir Pinkbeard, and I will see you in the next video.